again. Come on. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm about out of breath because I've just gone to the bathroom to brush my teeth. Honestly, even getting out of bed makes me out of breath nowadays. How are you guys? I missed you all so much. Today we have a fun video. I thought I could film my pregnancy morning routine. Um, it's just going to be a really chilled vlogged one. I just thought it'd be fun to just go about my morning, vlog it, bring you guys with me, you know the drill. So if you guys are new here, hello Angel, welcome. You probably won't know I am 19 weeks pregnant, so I'm in my 20th week, which is the last week of the first half of pregnancy, and I have no idea where that time has gone. I remember like when I first found out I was pregnant and it was a massive thing to get to the 12 week mark and be out of the first trimester and then the next thing for me was always like being halfway which I nearly am and I remember thinking about like filming all of these videos and I just can't believe I'm sat here filming my pregnancy morning routine and look who's just come in through the door <gasps> it's that Lisa. little puppy I see and who's this coming up the stairs is that Herbie yeah Come on guys. Oh, so guys, yes. this is a huge part of our morning routine. Oh. Herbie, come on darling. Herbie always gets a bit shy of jumping up because he doesn't want to hurt his younger brother Hag. Go try a few different angles. Good, boys. good boy. Say good morning everybody. Herbie. Oh, good, good morning, morning. angels. Oh. How big is Hector getting? Hector is just over six months now. It is crazy to think that by the time our baby arrives, he's not going to be as big as Herbie, but... He's going to be close. Tie boy this morning. I'm not sure what we're going to do with two big Labradors jumping on the bed with a newborn as well. You're going to mm. make room for your baby brother, guys. You just had your breakfast. Come back up here, don't we? Give mum a few kisses and cuddles. <laughs> Especially when it's cold, Dad likes to jump back in bed for another <laughs> ten minutes, doesn't he? It's such a handsome, smart face you're Whoa. pulling this morning, Heck. I'm not sure about I've ever seen that face actually, Hector. He's got his work uniform on. Yeah, you look so smart. Ready for his first day in the office. <laughs> so the time is twenty-five minutes past eight. Um, we do like to have a bit of a lying con, don't we? We're not early birds, really, especially during the pandemic, because you're in lockdown. Yeah, I mean, during lockdown, it's... Normally, I'm quite a get-up-and-go sort of person, but with the lockdown, it's giving me the opportunity to just slow down slightly. Herbie doesn't agree with that. We usually always wake up at 8 o'clock, and we always have a bit of a cuddle with the boys in bed. I have started to take things really slowly now at this point in my pregnancy. So have I. It's hard work on your hips, isn't it, Con? Yeah. I have reached the point in my pregnancy now where, like, if I... Oh, look at heck, mesmerised by what I'm saying. If I get up out of bed too quickly, my hips really hurt. I have really bad round ligament pain to get backache. So all of these symptoms are kind of just starting to show. So... Yeah, I just like to take things really slowly and then at nine o'clock, three times a week, and the first one is today, I have a online personal training session with my PT and that's done on Zoom. So I need to get up out of bed and get dressed for that really. Definitely wasn't doing that in lockdown before I was pregnant, like in lockdown number one. I'm trying to make a really active effort to just listen to my body as much as that means like taking things slowly and having a little last 10 minutes in bed and stuff like that I do also want to just keep my body as active as i can for birth and also there's um research that shows that it just helps with your body after birth as well so i get up and do that that's only me not con <laughs> he's probably gonna have another another half an hour in bed oh no, not any uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. the song for you guys. 
It might be a bit early for them in the morning for this con. Both of them aren't sure. And Herbie definitely knows the song. Oh my my ra! <laughs> Just can't wait to be king. <laughs> oh, you know this song, do you? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, boys, you gotta follow me. How'd you go, man? <laughs> so, today is um, bed sheet wash day. So, I'm gonna just strip the bed before I go and get dressed for my PT session. I'm also gonna take my thyroid tablet. So, I don't really speak about it too much, but I do have an underactive thyroid which i've had since before i was pregnant i've had it for about three years now um it's literally so easy to manage i just have my medication once a day in the morning yes this is a literal pint glass or it might even be two no it's two pints of connor's massive like beer glasses that i have to have for bed because i literally get so thirsty in the night oh my god guys i've never had thirst like when I've been in pregnancy. Yeah, my thyroid's really easy to manage. I just take one tablet every day. Um, since falling pregnant, I have had to go for monthly blood tests. I've actually got my next one later on this week. Just to double check that my thyroid levels are where they should be because it's just important to get an underactive thyroid treated properly if you are growing a baby. Woo! I'm ready for my PT session and I thought I would give you guys a little bump date. As I said I am 19 weeks. Crazy to think that's my little baby boy in there. Growing nicely. Nearly halfway babes. So the outfit I'm wearing for my PT session today is the new Gymshark Adapt Mal. Absolutely love this range. You guys know that I work with Gymshark. Um, on a long-term partnership, so they are kindly sponsoring this part of the video. So this is their new little range that is launching on Thursday, the 25th of February at 7pm. I am wearing this set in a powdered lavender colour. They are also releasing it in um, an orange and a black. I've just got on the padded sports bra, which is really, really comfortable. I think I am going to throw on a little top um, over the top of it just for my PT session because this is actually quite a low support sports bra. Not that we do anything too crazy in my PT sessions, but... I obviously need all the support I can get right now. And then I'm just wearing the high-waisted um, full-length leggings as well. Honestly, my favourite outfits to work out in, or even just, like, chill out in if I'm going on a dog walk or something. Since I've been pregnant, and, like, since my bump has got noticeably bigger, have been the Gymshark ones. I don't know what it is, I just find that their support is, like, unmatched. And it's really nice to just feel, like, sucked in when you're kind of getting bigger I wish you guys could feel my stomach it's literally like so it's getting really really firm i just saw that he is the size of a mango today so or a guinea pig whichever one you'd prefer to do it, animals or fruits he is getting big so yeah i will leave my link for gymshark down below if you guys are wanting to shop this look but yeah i absolutely love it and so does bump and the beautiful lavender color is definitely lifting my mood on this very gloomy morning so this is where I tend to do my PT sessions in the mornings, just in the study because the computer is just really easy to <laughs> use for my PT sessions. I just lay my yoga mat down on the floor here, I move the chair and the ladder out of the way. The boys like to just relax in their bed and watch. Most of the stuff we do is just body weight bits, we, work, we do a lot of work on um, pelvic floor but I do also have my band handy, my little resistance band and then um, my little weights which we actually bought in lockdown number one so they have come in very handy and that's the setup really I've got another two pinter because again I get so thirsty through these sessions so wish me luck guys I'll see you on the other side not that these are really that tough they are genuinely not well they are they really are for me and my body at the moment but like you guys are probably gonna think that I'm not even working out that hard but I am trust me your body just hits a whole new level when you preg.
workout. Feeling good because my PT told me that I am visibly getting fitter. Did you hear her say that? Yes, I did, Ellie. I was very impressed and proud of you. Well done. What did she say then? Wow, Ellie, you're getting fitter. <laughs> <laughs> She said something like that. Yes, I'm feeling good, but now it's breakfast time. I'm feeling good. Like I should. And you look good. Thanks, you look good as well. So today is what day, Ellie? Pancake day. Which means what? It's time for pancakes. We're having pancakes for breakfast, breakfast lunch, dinner and dessert. I can't no. believe you only thought there was only three, Con. There's four. Well, it's supper. No, oh, come on, come don't book, even start this dessert. argument with me. Who calls dessert supper? No one, because it's supper, not dessert. You're just telling me you can't have dessert in, at lunchtime. Connor, dessert is like sweets and stuff. Supper is savoury. No, where have you heard that from? Supper's just an extra meal. Would you call sweets supper? If I had it after dinner, <gasps> yeah. What is wrong with you? You're playing out for the camera, guys. Honestly, I wouldn't be marrying him if I knew this was how he, his attitude towards dessert was. Pancake shaker, mate. Shake, 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 shake it. Yeah, so it's pancake day. Um, with my breakfasts when I'm pregnant, they do vary. I'll tell you my top they three, okay? Okay, let's see if I agree. Green Cause juice. Because I, I know what you actually eat. Connor, what are you... Green juice is yes, correct. Green juice, which it, okay. Pros, it's delicious, I love it. It's nutritious, it gets my vitamins in. Cons, you really have to be in the mood to make it. Cause it's, it's long effort. and it's a lot of cleaning it's a up. It's a lot of effort. I'll tell you what goes in it guys. Two apples, some chopped up pineapple, some chopped up kiwi, half a cucumber, some celery. Is that it? Might as well just eat it and it fills you up as well. The juice fills me up con. Anyway, sometimes I have my juice. I have been known to have protein shakes through my pregnancy with a banana and yogurt and honey. Ooh, and I do it in the blender. Sure I haven't seen that one pop up too often, Bubby. What on about con? That was that was a first First trimester. Trimester breakfast. thing. Um I have had Weetabixes this week. Yogurt? No, I've never had yogurt con. So you don't even know what so you're doing. So you didn't have yogurt about. last yesterday for breakfast. I had a said. little yogurt. Thank you. Because we were in the so you had yogurt, didn't you? Thank but you. I don't regularly have you yogurt do, for breakfast. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so it varies. I'm not picky. Oh, pan chocolat, actually. They what were. Are you <laughs> no, what are you doing? You're telling me. You've never had a pan de chocolat. You're telling me. You've never had a pan de Actually go back to first trimester, all right, full of, yeah. six weeks pregnant, maybe that is all I had. After the first week of you finding out, maybe you had a pan of chocolate. No, oh, con. But since then, I was I get so frustrated at stuff like this. Then, I had pan of chocolate every day for breakfast when <laughs> I was in my first trimester. And that's that, con. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Pancakes today, though, either Pancakes way. today. And I'll tell are, you what else you have been craving. Tuna baguettes. That's yeah, for that's lunch. lunch oh, come on, let's go for your lunches. No, because this is a morning oh, routine. We have to go for a midday routine soon, angels. <laughs> get Eddie's lunches in smoke. Coming soon. I do like to pride myself in this house. I feel like we have a very good range of pancake toppings available. At all times. Like, I could... Wake up one morning and think I want pancakes and I know I've got in toppings. In July. Yeah, any any day and I know or I've got December. toppings. It's this drawer here. Yeah. Well, it's not even, that's only half this of it. This is only half of it, it's Con. In the baking We've drawer, we've got, got all the good stuff. Biscoff, Snickers, peanut butter, that's Con's. Look, he's even got this. That's incredible and it's nearly finished. This is actually majority of your bits, Con, by the way. We've got another lotus pot there, we've got Nutella. Now this, good stuff, this is my baking drawer. Ignore the mess at the moment, it is a bit of a mess. We've just got a bag of mini eggs stashed oh, away. Chunks, I'll yeah. be taking them for me. We've got today. lemon juice. Look, we've even got this. I mean, where's that even come from, Con? So you're only having lemon? I'm gonna have lemon juice and sugar on one. I'm gonna I... have syrup and Nutella. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna sorry, have to have three. Angels, but unpopular opinion. I'm gonna have to have lemon eggs. on pancakes is a no go. Okay, Con, prepare to be crucified in the comments because lemon and sugar on pancake day is not a vibe. Sorry guys, it's I don't know who this guy thinks he is. It's not is. a vibe. Throw some chocolate chips in there and I'll Yeah, chocolate chunks. 
I'm so gutted we don't have any strawberries. Oh, Guys, do you know what's I been going on? Biscuit, biscuit. <laughs> What's been going on with strawberries, guys? I don't know about you lot or any of your Tesco's. I've been into two Tesco's now that have been completely sold out of strawberries. And they had signs on saying, due to the weather conditions, we've got a shortage of strawberries. I've never in my 25 years of living seen that. You're 25. Well, yeah, Con, you're 28. No, I'm not. You're nearly. I'm 27. Get your facts right. Before you come at me. <laughs> pancake day pancakes! Preggy over here has three. We've got lemon and sugar, lemon and sugar, and this one is Nutella, raspberries, and mini eggs. We've got Real Housewives of Beverly Hills ready to go. Connor is over there making his protein pancakes. Look at these angles. They do look impressive. Talk to me about pancakes. Yeah, they look good. But I'm just more of a British baking. Yeah, I'm more American pancakes. No? You're more British, aren't you, darling? Yeah. Okay, I have just got out the shower, done my little pamper routine. It's hair wash day today. I wash my hair every like four days. When I got out the shower, I just cleansed my face with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. And then also I uh, moisturize and lather my stomach in this. This is the Mamma Mio Tummy Rub Butter. They kindly sent me loads of stuff when I first announced I was pregnant. And I haven't tried anything else, but I really, really like their products. It smells really nice. I always do that like straight away as soon as I get out of the shower because apparently it's best to lather on body butters and oils when your skin is kind of damp, fresh out the shower, so it locks all the moisture in. Um, so yeah, I've done those. I don't tend to do my bump every morning and night. I I only really do it once in the morning when I get out of the shower, but I think I might start doing it like every evening as well from now on because my bump is getting big really quick and I just want to look after my skin. It's not about preventing stretch marks or anything like that. It's literally just looking after my growing skin. I've got my two little helpers helping me get ready this morning. This is my little getting ready cupboard with all of my bits and bobs in. I thought we could go through a bit of a Dyson Airwrap tutorial this morning. If you guys watch my stories and stuff, you'll know that I'm absolutely obsessed with mine. This is why I kind of only really wash my hair every like four days. I just don't really need to do it in between those days because I use the Dyson Airwrap and I feel like I've really got hang of it now. The pearls that I get with the Dyson Airwrap really stay in and the volume does and I don't know, it just dries and styles my hair really, really nicely. There's no intervention needed, you know? So I thought I could run through a quick tutorial of that. I think they're sold out everywhere at the moment, which is so annoying. I'll leave a link below if I can find one for you. Um, especially in this lockdown. Um, I'm just trying really hard to like not put so much heat on my hair when it's just not really needed. Just trying to look after myself a bit more, you know? Um, yeah, so before I dry my hair with that, I always use this. This is the TG Colour Luster Oil. I've had this for ages. I think it's made my second bottle. This is just because my hairdresser recommended it to me and it's literally the best smelling hair oil I have ever used. I also really like the Way one. But um, it's just out, so I'll just use this. And then this was actually sent to me not long ago, and I really, really like it with the Dyson Air app. It's the Wow Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray, which, um, because I do the curls with the Dyson Air app, I just feel like it helps it with the volume a lot more, so I like that. And then skincare down here. I always start off with my eye cream, Magic Eye Rescue by Charlotte Tilbury. I'll leave links to all of these below. And I've got a few different serums that I like to use. If I am trying to keep up a fake tan or I'm in the sun, I'll go for this one. This is the Tan Lux Super Glow SPF 30 one. I really, really like it. I use it on holiday and stuff, and I've been using it just when I want a bit more of a tan in lockdown. I also really like this. This is the Kalon You Glow Serum. Um... This is another really good one that I like. It's the La Roche-Posay Hyaluronic Serum um, with B5. And then also Charlotte Tilbury very kindly sent me this. I was blown away when I opened their PR box yesterday. Um, they sent me like all of their magic cream stuff, which you guys know is just my absolute favourite. And this was included. It's the Magic Serum. I think today I'm going to go with the La Roche-Posay Eye Cream Serum. Then I'll do Moisturiser, which is always my magic cream. But I think today I'm actually going to go for the magic cream light 
so excited about this. And then for my lips, these are my two favourite lip balms by Terry, Balm de Rose, or the um, Charlotte Magic Lip Oil. I'm gonna go for these ones today, I think. comes to the Dyson Airwrap, I have found there are definitely a few hacks that you can use to just like make it a whole lot better. So I always split my hair off into two sections, the side I'm currently doing and then the side that it's going to come in a bit. I might actually just make you a little bit lower so you can see the hair a bit more. You need really, really thin, small strands of your hair, like that might even be a little bit too much. You want to put the barrel that has the arrow facing away from your face like that. You'll see there are three heat settings you want it on the hottest. This is gonna turn it on. Then if you push it up like that, it cools it. So that's what you wanna do with all of the different strands. You wanna heat it, wait until it's dry, but before you take the barrel away, go up to the cool setting so it cools the hair in that, um, in that curl. Always start from the end. So I'm just gonna do one and you can see for yourself how it turns out. And that's literally the curl. I like to pin it as well so the curl stays in place and it just, um, just makes them a little bit more bouncy, I think. One, now I'm gonna go around the whole rest of my head and do that. And we're gonna jump into a fun time lapse. it looks <laughs> when you take all the clips out i'm gonna brush it through now and show you how nice it goes that's it that's literally my hair done until i next wash my hair honestly i do not even need to touch it up i just absolutely love it i mean look at that i couldn't just do that do you know what i mean i couldn't just do that with my curlers or my hair dryer it's expensive right it is definitely expensive but it is definitely definitely worth it absolutely love it like i said i think it's sold out everywhere at the moment but i'll try and find a link and leave it in the description box for you below if i can see it in stock anywhere i think i'm gonna do no makeup today i think i'm just gonna have a nice relaxing afternoon i do need to pop downstairs and actually take my prenatal vitamin because i forgot to take that with my breakfast and then i think we're gonna take the boys out and then that is our morning so i think angels i'm gonna leave this video here i really hope you guys enjoyed it just a fun little vloggy vlog pregnancy morning routine my pregnancy morning routines are definitely very laid back um very chilled out i know i worked out but I just want to say I feel really, really lucky to be able to do that in pregnancy. Like, I didn't have much energy at all throughout my first trimester, and I just feel like second trimester, I'm blooming, right? I feel really, really good. That will probably change when I get a little bit nearer to my due date and delivering baby. At the moment, I feel really good, and I feel really lucky to be in a place where I am looking after my body, and yeah, I just feel really good. So, um... I just want to say a big thank you for you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me, angels. I have a very, very, very exciting video coming this weekend. It is one of the baby's rooms. Fingers crossed if everything goes okay. It should be one of the baby's rooms videos. Um, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I think I am also going to film my pregnancy evening routine for you guys next week. So watch out for that. Just left in all the pregnancy vids. It's just so much fun. I mean, this is my life now, right? Like pregnancy carrying a baby i just absolutely love it love you guys so much i hope you'll have a fabulous rest of your day angels and i will see you in the next one